Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, as dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider centrics with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to check the newest additions in the game, what's coming on to the future patches, which is always interesting because that sometimes indicates uh, on which direction game is going right so let's not talk too much and let's dive in how we are going to see call of dragons gameplay change the golden autumn update 1.031 which is pretty big and we are going to discuss what kind of updates and what kind of changes we are going to see in golden autumn right uh, so first of all let's go to the first one new royal celebration event series and I think here most important part is that Kingdom Celebrations, members of Alliance that occupies the Flame Dragon Slayer can purchase the Kingdom Celebration bundle and share gift boxes containing ways and rewards with their fellow Alliance members. So this is like a new stuff. Um, you are purchasing bundles, uh, giving them to the Alliance members. Everybody's opening the rewards and everybody's happy. But that's only for whenever you have a Dragon Slayer uh, conquered, right? Like the uh, last Behemoth. Uh, time of the celebration, celebration chest will appear on the map every 8 hours during the event and can be op opened by all players. That's good because everybody is going to take some positives out of this event, right? Uh, Roots of War re rework, I was not really expecting the Roots of War rework, but it's interesting. I think it's been a while since we had some new stuff about Roots of War. The Roots of War map has been redesigned, changes have made to terrain, safe zone exits, and the locations of holes uh, and outposts, the Seals of Thorns, has also been removed. So basically everything is removed and changed, right? There is on there is now only one lifestone on the battlefield at any given time. It will respawn at the center of the battlefield. That's great because generally Roots of War was uh, like winners were the ones who were taking the lifestones. There is one lifestone, I guess. Winners should be trying a lot more stuff than just picking lifestone to base, right? Uh, some gameplay features has been improved. You can now see building details in save zones for both teams. The march speed of rallied armies has been adjust, adjusted, as has the speed of speed of rooted legions re returning to their base uh, camp. Right, you can now apply more markers. The effect of occupying an outpost has also been changed. Well, it's all about visibility, uh, like more control around what's going on in the roots of war, which is great. Uh, added a new battlefield guide. Zoom out and tap consular shaman sage avatar in the bottom right to the detailed information about battlefield easier to understand well for new players it might be interesting added teams for registration an alliance can configure up to three teams to take part in different roots of war matches allowing more alliance members to take part this is the best um, one so far in terms of other changes uh, more players will be allowed to get the rewards and the chance of uh, playing in Roots of War because, well, Alliance's uh, size limit is 200 almost, right? And only 30 people could participate. That was kind of bad, which is amazing change, by the way. Uh, extended the registration period. Well, that's easily why, because more people will be playing. Add a voting function to the registration period. Alliance officers can use it to better schedule activities. Nice. The team roster will now not be locked after registration until registration cut off time well that's like about registration and the most important change in terms of roots of war gameplay is that um more players will be able to play the um, game mode right uh golden autumn holiday event well that's a uh, the theme of the update and of course whenever there is a theme of the update uh, we have a, a event like series of events uh, which uh, we go, we are going to take, right? The first one is Harvest Time. Sign the praises of the Autumn Harvest and exchange to tomatoes and bread for amazing rewards. And basically, these are generally uh, kind of the same um, uh, events, just different theme. But basically, it's good because you are going to get a lot of good stuff uh, from these kind of events, right? 
the legendary tokens, medals, gold keys, and such as, right? Treaties and arrows. So um, this is always welcome. After that, we are having a seasonal gameplay improvements, which is really, really important. And I think uh, the gameplay improvements are one of the most important updates we are what we are getting. Uh, the first one improved the season two map. Players entering season two will be able to enjoy in all new map of Belleron once the update is complete. This will not affect players currently in season two. All right, improved ancestor statue gameplay for season two and beyond. Once a ancestor statue has been occupied, its occupation status will not be affected if members of other alliance or Dwarven Gardens enter its challenge range. Right. If all Alliance members' legions die or leave the challenge the range, the Alliance will lose the control of the statue. So basically, uh, for the statue fights, the most important thing is to like get the middle ground and get the like green light around like green circle, right? Uh, change the cooldown for territorial relocation, all right? Uh, rework the resurgence feature once season one stage uh, unscared ends, the resurgence will not be available. All right, reworked migration realms in the season two and beyond who have not appointed the high king will have no power limit and the uh, permits will be cost 20% less. Uh, change certain behemoth occupation buffs in home realms, not that important. Uh, and plus migration quotas for all realms have been reduced from 300 to 150, which is nice. I think the permits were just too expensive, right? Uh, so, not that really, really important changes in general gameplay improvements, but uh, so far not that bad, right? Uh, smoother route to prosperity, new epic artifact, Lord's Guard Bow, well, finally some epic artifacts, a marksman peacekeeping assault available from Artifact Compendium. After the update, if you choose Spring Warden's Faction, Gwenwin will receive this new artifact, I guess that's the artifact for uh, Gwenwin, a new Warped Shadow Manticore now available, new Warped Blade Manticore um, available for the players in Season of Stripe, a uh, new playstyle feature, you can now see a radar chart of your playstyle during this season, uh, measuring six attributes, merits, engineering, healing, behemoths, gathering, and peacekeeping. Uh, when the feature becomes available, you will not only be able to see your playstyle on the current season, but in the past, which is great. Now it will be easily understandable who player is da doing what, who is farmer, who is fighter, and so on, right? Um, improved elixir base capacity limit from the 6 hour to 8 hours, which is nice. More incentives towards fighting. Uh, improved skill retaining. You can now choose whether or not to keep the result of retaining. Uh, improve the building upgrades. You can now upgrade the buildings while you are using it to train legions or research tech. Uh, improved quality of elixir items, which is nice. And I guess the most important things here is this new chart, like playstyle feature, uh, new warpets, new artifact. Uh, well, pretty interesting. And also, in addition, of course, elixir changes are pretty great, right? Uh, the sixth one is, an, well, it's pretty big update, right? The golden note. Um, an even richer combat experience, experience strengthened cavalry unit skill and dialing rush in order to make cavalry units more effective during the team warfare, which means war, right? The main skill, the uh, which was the rush where the cavalry players were getting 1000 range, rage, uh, it got changed, like march speed increases when approaching the target legion, that stays same, the hero is getting 1000 range, and gains of Valiant, which is new one for each attack received from a ranged legion. The legion's legion deals 15% more damage, uh, maximum to 75 for 10 seconds. Rush, rush triggers once every 10 seconds. While using the legion cannot be intercepted and takes 80% less damage but cannot reach counter attacks. Well, all or nothing, right? This pretty big, big buff for cavalry players. If you are not going to be useful in PvP with this, then I don't think there is a chance to fix cavalry units. This is pretty big, 50% more damage, maximum 75, 80% less damage taken. Who cares about counterattack in terms of cavalry? And I think uh, this buff is amazing. Let's see if it will bring back the uh, cavalry meta into the game, right? 
a fixed guarded crossbow which was attacking legions like neutral legions within the range of the use which is pretty weird uh change stamina consumption for heroes and war pets uh, heroes now can, can heroes can now be sorted by most commonly used like ui changes and improved simple mode uh, you can now customize simple mode by selecting different options this will this will allow you to adjust this display of legion and combat details Added an option for player cities to drag legion to select target that's like a beauty changes right like visual changes uh, increased merits gained by killing enemy legions killing enemy legions uh out, outright will grant more merit than wounding them which means it's important to just kill the enemy legion not just uh, leave them with low hp which is interesting added artifact merits wounded or kill, killing enemy legions by using artifacts will also grant merits interesting level 5 artifacts here we come you will now be asked to confirm your decision if you deploy a legion within unit type that differs from captain okay that's seasonal stuff right merits merits are changing important thing um like uh cavalry is going to be super strong i guess with this like i think and let's see right let's see and improved alliance system generally everything every single update alliance systems are getting updated and i was kind of expecting that right added alliance pre priority list and alliance block lists available from season two onwards alliance leaders and scholars can add players to priority lists and block lists right uh, players on the prior play priority list may join and leave the alliance whenever they like and are now subject to approval of power limits players on blacklist cannot apply to join alliance nice change great change for the officers who are tired of accepting the players in and out right uh, improved notification for a relocation to urban territory uh, this is great um, added alliance member search feature well i guess this is more of like ui uh, changes for alliance and for officers and for the uh, the leaders right uh, more enjoyable events new mystery box uh, event now available when the stars fell to earth pre precious supplies bound by magical seal were scattered into fragments return them well generally new events right like this is too much words which is kind of not that understandable but i guess if there will be more events generally great for the game right just the difficulty of celestial battlegrounds and crush crudible of scourge slightly increase the amount of hero xp available from a rally attacks on level 5 hordes um, a more accessible map adjust the daily my exploration road for the scouts uh, different levels different meters um, i guess that's a improvement for beginners who are really tired to explore the new map all the time and some fixed issues right um, other new content improved goblin market refresh times to for purchasable goods are now more clearly displayed reduced tactical menus available from rally attacking darkling shelters um, improved auto gathering mail messages well generally not that really really important changes here right a uh, dragon ticket is mainly for uh, pay to win players uh, in terms of update we have some crucial changes in total let's just move around and just from peak point what's the most important choice changes uh well roots, roots of war rework is great because it was already boring it doesn't really matter how it will be changed if it's change changing it's already good because there will be something different uh, the new event festival like golden autumn always welcome always welcome the events which will give us more um enjoyable rewards uh, seasonal gameplay improvements i guess uh, we already understood finally how ancestor statue works um and like reducing the permits is great right from 300 to 150 is amazing uh finally new artifact epic one finally some new warpets um that's generally the new thing elixir capacity is increased amazing um also artifacts are going to give us more merits uh, which is pretty pretty interesting and uh, the new feature like whenever you're gonna be able to see how player is performing in general the uh, play style feature that's a radar that's like kind of interesting right after that we have amazing uh, buff for cavalry players which we need to see how it will affect the game and i think that these are like this is merits from the artifacts important also 
I think these are like the main updates which we are going to expect um, in the future, right? Um, I'm hoping that winter one will be my with much more surprises than this one. But so far we are in the autumn. Uh, let's enjoy the golden autumn um, uh, update, which we are going to see really, really soon. It will be aired in like four days, right? It's 18. So generally, I think more updates and more interesting stuff which uh, game will bring to the players it will be great and better for everybody as always tell me what's your ideas behind this uh, golden autumn update uh, so far i think it's interesting i'm not going to say it's good or bad it's really interesting let's see how it will affect the game in general right as always guys some um, road to verification on youtube i hope uh, you guys are going to support the channel and as always if you like the video Press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more motivation when I know that you guys are watching. I wish everybody an amazing morning, day or night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.